This segment brought to you by Kansas Soybean Commission. Progress powered by Kansas farmers. It was a perfect summer day on the High Plains. Hot, but not excessively so. Windy, but not blowing barrels across the yard. It was the perfect day to hang out laundry. We have a dryer and thus have no need of the clothesline. We have been so far behind on mowing because of all the events we have been involved in that I was afraid to get near the clothesline and the tall grass if I had wanted to use it. But once there was a path cleared and I had some quilts that needed to be washed, I took advantage of that rare perfect day to hang them outside. Is there anything more beautiful than clean laundry on a clothesline on a perfect day? Granny washed clothes on Tuesdays. Her ringer washer sat on the porch, and she filled tubs of water from the spigot out front, heated them on the wood stove in the kitchen. Her laundry hamper was an appliance box, left over, no doubt, from one of Daddy's jobs. Granny covered it in green floral wallpaper, and I thought it the cleverest idea in the world. Wash day was an all-day affair, and the glorious fruits of her efforts were all those clean sheets and towels hanging from the line. If it rained, Granny hung the laundry upstairs in the loft over the kitchen. There were lines stretched across it, too. There was a vent cut in the floor just above the kitchen stove, so hanging clothes out in the summer could be pretty steamy, but in the winter, it was perfect. One of those Tuesdays that it rained, I went with Grandpa to the store to get wash powders. The storekeeper asked, "'Surely Maggie's not going to wash clothes today. It's raining.' Grandpa replied, I reckon she would wash clothes on Tuesday if the house was burning down. Granny giggled when I told her that. I told everything. My clothesline in Kansas, a thousand miles away from that spot and a thousand years in time, takes me back. I bury my face in the quilt and fill my lungs with the smell of grass and sky, old quilts, and precious memories. Sure Crop Fertilizers was started by my father, Don Sherman, and my mother, Shirley Sherman. Family business has started in the 80s. We predominantly focus on plant nutrients and what we can do to give growers better responses for with the fertilizer dollars that they do and what we can do to you know, make those things work better for the grower. We're based out of Seneca, Kansas, we work with growers in their soil analysis to figure out what they need and then we can put those in a blend that gives them the best results and so that we can deliver that direct to their farm so that they have those nutrients where they need them, when they need them, and so that they can apply them in a manner that's, that's very efficient to them and, and works well on their planting systems and what they're doing. Sure Crop Fertilizers has been around for a long time. We always say we're, we're big enough to take care of everything you need, but yet we're small enough to do it quickly. You can get a hold of us at 1-800-635-4743. Um, our website is surecropfertilizers.com. And you can always email me at corey at surecropfertilizers.com. And with any questions you have, we'd be glad to answer and work with you. 